Our first guest tonight is a very talented actress and director. She directs and stars in What Happens Later, which is in theaters November 3rd. Let's take a look. Well, I always wondered why you left. No, you didn't. Yeah. We talked about it all before I left Madison. We sat in the back booth at Morty's over our fries and beers, and we were very mature, very civilized about it, and did a whole post-mortem. <laughs> Come on, you know that's true. No. When people break up, there's the thing that they tell each other, there's the thing they tell their friends, and then, and then there's the truth. Please welcome to the show, Meg Ryan, everybody! <laughs> Here. Hi, Seth. This is Thanks a thrill for me. For me. Um, this is also very exciting. Uh, you don't just star in this film. Uh, you wrote and directed this film. Yeah. How did this story first come to you? Well, it was a play that the playwright did a first draft of, and um, I. it was during COVID, and I had a lot of time, and I just started writing, and I kept writing, and I kept writing, and at, like, 5 in the morning, I'd get more ideas and more ideas. David, you know, Duchovny is in the movie with me, too, and he came on board. We started... Uh, you know, sort of circling the story together, and um, suddenly we were financed, and now here we are. It was all like, like happenstance. It felt like. Did you, when you originally uh, had the idea, you weren't planning on playing uh, the part? No. Is that correct? No. And then once you were playing the part, how important was it for you to find uh, a David well, Duchovny? Well, there's just two people in the movie. Yeah. Well, there <laughs> That's you go. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> so I had to have a partner, and he's so. You know, he, there's just no one like him. He's really unique. There's, he was here yesterday. Yeah. And he's been here a bunch, and I really love him because I just can't predict what he's going to no, say now. Or how he's going to say it. Yeah. Like, how he's going to say it. And I think the, clo the closest comparable person is, like, Walter Matthau. I mean, yeah. in the best possible way. Like, he can spin a line. He can break your heart. He can make you laugh. He and he's a great partner. You know? Yeah. And really, we had each other. And he had a lot of patience. He took, a, like, a big chance of me. I'm, a direct, like, a second-time director. And he's, you know, he's... The person we all know and love, and he, uh, yeah. He was he has... worried that you weren't going to pay any attention to him because you were also in the movie? <laughs> because I was like, also as in the a movie. director, he's like, I'm worried that you, as a director, are going to pay no attention to me, I, I the actor. That was a little, maybe a little bit of a worry, <laughs> but I have to say, like, we didn't have playback while we were shooting. We weren't able to look. So I, you thankfully... weren't watching. You would shoot a scene, and you wouldn't be able to go and watch no, it. Right. No, no. So uh, in the edit room, I was like, who's that blonde, like, blob in the movie with David Duchovny? <laughs> 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 You, so you had was, nothing to worry about. Uh, he was telling us uh, that you shot in a working airport, mostly at night when nobody yeah. was there, but you also had to face the challenges of daytime when there were actually travelers. Yes, we had real uh, travelers who really didn't care at all about us. Yeah. <laughs> this big apparatus, all this light, all this uh, all this commotion, and they didn't, they didn't care much, but it made us have to be on our toes. We did eight-minute-long takes, which for a movie actor, you just don't do that. You know? Yeah. So, And the great thing about shooting in an airport at night is that well, eventually, no one's there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so we just felt like we had the place to ourselves. We made a movie kind of in secret. And now it's just like weird feeling putting a movie out. It's like sending your firstborn child out, like your or your oddest child out. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, oh. And saying, you just go be yourself, yeah. honey. We thought you'd stay at home, <laughs> yeah. but you are going to go out in the world. Yeah, time to just go out there and be yourself. <laughs> uh, this is your second film you've directed. Yeah. Is, there, is there some element of filmmaking that you enjoy the most that... Surprised you? Well, you're just in on it with everybody, yeah. which is great because you're working with all these different kinds of brands of artists, these, you know, masters of light and sound, and your senses become a very, like, heightened, you know, like it's a heightened sensory experience. And you're in on it with the other actors, and a lot of times you just you just know your own process, you know? But this this way, you're just, you're, I don't know, you just got a secret with everybody. I, I've always been so impressed when I stop by sets, when friends of mine are directing a film, there's just a thousand choices a day. Like, a that's thousand. the part you underestimate, is uh, yeah. you think a director is just focused on the words and these two, you know, great actors, and then someone comes over with, like, 30 spoons. Yeah, and they're they like, go, which spoon? And, yeah, you could, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're right. And this was, like, I direct, there I am. Like, I, I had to do so much, I had to be so concentrated. I had to really prepare, 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 prepare. I was there for five weeks beforehand. And then, really, it was so I could just 
not think about it with David, so I could sure. just kind of be loose. And my character is a like a you know she's just a woo woo very flaky person. <laughs> as a, and as a director, you have to really micromanage. So I kind of thought, every time they said action, I was like, all right, I can just kind of relax a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> just be here with Mr. Duchovny. <laughs> you dedicated this film uh, to Nora Ephron, yes. who obviously is a director you worked with uh, quite famously yeah. uh, to great uh, uh, result. Um, what did you learn most from her? Because obviously you've done films with so many different kinds of directors. From her, I just learned the pure delight. She had pure delight in movie making. And the, the thing about writing and directing is that, you know, the, the words come to you in a, it's so private. You know, you're home, at, like it's five in the morning and you, you, you run the scene in your head and you write it down. And then all of a sudden you cut to the set and there's 150 people who care about bringing that to life and have like opinions about that. And it's a joyful thing. And she had like the joy of giving this great dinner party every time you were on the, the, the sets with her were really fun. That's great. I heard Hugh Grant say one time, I didn't personally hear it, but I, heard, I read, <laughs> that he, he said that doing a comedy is like being a, a balloon in a world of pins. Uh huh. <laughs> it's true. And you just don't want the set to be a world of pins. <laughs> yeah, that's a good so. way of looking. Um, you, uh, uh, you, uh, it's trick or treating. It's, uh, it's yes. Halloween. It's New York City. Um, I actually have a son uh, who's going to be a vampire today. Oh, you do. A five-year-old son's going to be a vampire. Oh, this is uh, your son, Jack. Yes. When he was six. He was about six years old. And uh, this is obviously he has. Uh, he comes from show business stock. And his, <laughs> yeah. his makeup is that good. Yeah, he was so interested. He yeah, was my, very my into five-year-old it. looks like <laughs> compared to this. <laughs> Uh, I should know he your was, son, Jack Wade, who's a great actor. He's also he's been great. a guest on the show. I'm, I'm a big fan of his. He's we, so fantastic. We are... This, he wanted He wanted to be Dracula, but then he told me, like, he, wa he had a name, and he wanted to be Count Ejacula. Count Jacula? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, man. <laughs> yeah. You just have to trust me on this one. <laughs> there are already, like, no. seven of those on the subway. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> Trick You don't, and they don't like <laughs> you. You don't do that. Uh, congratulations on the film. It Thank has just you. been so wonderful having you here. Please Thank come you. back soon. You, you guys, Meg Ryan, What Happens Later is in Theater Friday. We'll be right back with Caitlin Collins.